Hi guys, I welcome you all to another lecture in our anthropology series. So we had started the uh, functionalism yesterday and we had finished uh, the ideas of Radcliffe Brown and his structural functionalism. So today we are going to uh, go ahead with Malinowski. But before we do Malinowski, I would want to give you a little bit of the recap so that you understand and also the the minute difference that is there between Malinowski and uh, Brown. Okay, so basically, if you recall, in functionalism, we were talking about in functionalism, we were talking about synchronic studies. That means both believe that in the dearth of data or paucity of data, uh, you should not go backwards. You should look at present and uh, you know study the cultures societies here and now so this was one thing and look at the functions you know as what the the institutions in a society or the parts in the society work and what are their functions and why are they needed right so there was a there was a connection between needs and wants in the society and these needs and wants leads to uh, parts working, right? So these parts work to satisfy these needs and therefore the society or you know the, the society goes on. So there was an analogy that was drawn between the living organism, how its parts, organs work and how these are also similar to the society how societies parts work to fulfill the needs but the difference here lies between Malinowski and Brown is that for Brown society's needs and society's needs are more important and in Malinowski needs of humans are or individuals are more important I'll write individuals because even society is made up of humans only so here Melinowski focuses more on the needs of individuals whereas Brown focuses the needs of the society as a whole. So this is the basic difference but Baki sab un dono mein similar hi hai that both wants the needs uh, to be fulfilled by these parts of the society, right? Brown wants it for the society as a whole, Melinowski wants it for the, the individuals, right? So now let's get on with it. So in functionalism, basically in, in Malinowski's functionalism, if I have to give you a brief idea about who Malinowski was, because that is what very important in studying anybody's, uh, you know, how they started off and why did they reach to a point of giving certain theories, right? So he was basically a student of psychology and he had read a lot of uh, James Fraser's work, The Golden Bow. He had studied Golden Bow. And as you know, the classical evolutionists' works came out as a lot ethnocentric, right? Unka work was mostly based on armchair anthropology. That means Unka sources of study was not uh, primary sources. So they uh, were you know, they were a lot dependent upon the Christian missionaries at that time, the travelers who were traveling this data. So they were collecting the data based with their own presumptions, uh, with biasness. And these biasness then ref was reflecting in the work of classical evolutionists, right? So their work was a lot ethnocentric. So after reading Fraser's work, though he was very influenced by him also, he changed his discipline to anthropology. And, and he came into anthropology, right? So this is how, see, because he was a student of psychology, so his uh, impact on his studies pe bhi zyada pada because a lot of things were uh, in his theory were related to psychology as well. Okay? That is how you understand. Because uh, Franz Boas was a geographer, so in his anthropology, he, in his, in his historical particularism, a lot emphasis was given on the geography as well, how the geography impacts the cultures. So this is how your uh, own your own personality 
also shapes your uh, theories or explanations whatever you give so that is why a little bit brief understanding of the person is also required right so let's get on with the study so he studied australian aborigines the Trobrian and Islanders and all. We have also studied this Trobrian Islanders in the Kula exchange uh, in uh, economic anthropology chapter. So, uh, a lot of things I will borrow from that chapter here to make you understand his ideas. So, he studied these Australian Aborigines, the tribe, uh, Trobrian Islanders and in a, in a way, he, he was also a stalwart in creating a very new uh, kind of uh, journey towards anthro and that journey was through participant observation through a lot of field work studies so a, a, a methodological shift had happened because both cultural evolutionist and diffusionist were a lot uh, dependent on the secondary sources of work because up till that time even though Franz Boas focused on a lot of field work right but we can also say that Melinowski was one such person who took this uh, thing forward and he did a lot of field work studies, participant observation. He lived there in the with the Trobrian Islanders for three years when the, uh, the world war, war has also broken. So, he was there for three years. He learned their language. He talked to them in their vernaculars without any translators. So, it may obviously if you are talking to a tribe in their own language see how authentic data you can collect right because as many people would be there in between you and the tribe as translators they are going to put their own biasness directly indirectly you know it comes out right so that understanding also kinds of dilutes when there are so many actors involved but he learned the languages he tried to talk, talk to them in their own vernacular. So, this, this is how he is uh, his methodological importance be here. Okay? Not only the theory that he gave, but also how the methodological shift had happened. Right? So, his theory now, coming to the theory, is also known as biocultural theory. Now, you will understand why is it called biocultural theory. I will just uh, make you understand it here. So, basically, his theory was that individual, all individual have needs. That means it didn't start off as the society and its needs as it was with Brown and how he had explained the society, its needs and how the part works to carry out the functions of the society and then the society continues, not like that. He said the individual have needs and these needs are mostly biological. Okay, and these needs are satisfied through cultural responses and with these cultural respons uh, responses other needs arise. Okay, so now if you have not understood, I will try to make you understand. Okay, uh, let's see that he is saying that individual have needs. This is correct. This is very correct that individual has needs and these needs are majorly uh, biological. Just for example, we need to satisfy our hunger, right? Hunger. There is an innate need of a man to reproduce or you can say sexual needs are there, right? Then there is a need to have shelter, protection, right? Then man needs to gr grow. There is a need for growth. There is a need for a healthy living, right? There is a need of movement because as you know the man ever since it's uh, you know uh, the journey of the humans have started out of Africa the man has migrated and moved continuously around the continents around the world right so these are certain uh, needs of the man right that that Malinowski believed that they were the the most basic needs that means he called the biological needs of man as the most basic needs of all, right? So, biological needs, I am so sorry guys, uh, yes, uh, so biological needs are the, uh, the most important needs, right? So, this is how it starts and then he says to 
uh, achieve these biological needs, there are cultural responses. For example, man made an institution of hunting and gathering in the in the very beginning. ठीक है. After that, there was marginal cultivation. Then there was agriculture, and then there was betterment of technology to satisfy the hunger needs. What is all? हम खाना तो we can still eat food by just hunting and gathering. Why do we need these technological advancements? It is just that man always needs security, right? It always needs that protection, which was one of his own, uh, other needs. Protection was also. one of the needs he was talking about in man's basic needs so we always need a sort of protection in everything so we try to minimize the 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 problems that we can have right so similarly for reproduction kinship the idea of family marriage these institutions were created by man then for shelter you will uh, make houses all of that for protection you will make a political institution right so all of this is what cultural responsible uh, responses right what is kinship what is marriage family what is political institution for growth health movement there are other institutions like religious institutions there is education there is so many institutions that man has created what are these these are cultural responses right these are cultural responses to to satisfy man's biological needs and these set of cultural responses creates certain other kind of uh, you know needs they are the integrative needs what are they they are the integrative needs what are these integrative needs now basically what are integrative needs that these needs are going to keep the society functioning as a whole that means it will try to minimize the differences and will try to converge everything into one source so if i have to tell you the hierarchy of needs if i can okay i'll use another page right so let's summarize he said that there is basically a hierarchy of needs i'll just write it with this color there are hierarchy of needs with uh okay with biological needs being the most basic for which man has created the cultural responses theek hai so usse hamari uh, cultural responses will come or the secondary needs would come secondary needs and then there are final that are i just write it outside the integrative needs integrative needs बेसिक नीड्स सॉरी बायोलॉजिकल नीड्स में क्या आ गया आपका फूड शेल्टर रिप्रोडक्शन ग्रोथ दीज आर द बायोलॉजिकल नीड्स सेकेंडरी नीड्स इफ हैव टू शो यू ओके इफ हैव टू शो यू द सेकेंडरी नीड्स दे विल बी इफ आई ड्रॉ अ चार्ट हेयर दे विल बी रिलीजियस इंस्टीट्यूशन पोलिटिकल इंस्टीट्यूशन मैरिज इंस्टीट्यूशन family ka institution education institution right then you can make some other uh, kinship institution right so to uh, to settle out our biological needs there are these kind of needs jaise ki food ke liye there will be economic uh, institutions then uh, you uh, for reproduction and institutionalized reproduction family marriage kinship will be there so these are the secondary needs and then there are the integrative needs which will combine all these needs into one whole and make it function function unitedly in harmony to each other in harmony to each other right 
so this was the whole idea that he gave and the the very purpose of this whole thing is i'll just write it down here the whole purpose is to satisfy the man's needs right you understand so that is why if i take you back to this picture that is why because everything is revolving around the basic needs of man and that is settling these biological biological needs of the man that, that is why it is called bio cultural functionalism it is called bio cultural functionalism because needs are biological which are settled through cultural responses and what is the function the function is that these uh, biological needs are going to be settled through these cultural responses and this is the need, need of the culture this is why we need society we need society to fulfill biological needs of the man so that is why this uh, whole thing is called uh, biocultural functionalism also so i hope you have understood the whole uh, difference between the two that brown was more focused upon the society and its needs society ka needs kya hai society has to work in tandem with other all its parts theek hai all its parts have to remain uh, in harmony they work as individual units and they work as units of the society right and then he all he believed that these institutions are super organic in the fact that individuals will come and go Uh, right but this these institutions which man has created will super live right so this is how melinowski and uh, you know Mel uh, melinowski and brown differs right so methodology mein there were seven biological needs man ki maine bata diya then there are derived needs jaise political uh, uh, political institutions economic religious institutions then there are integrative needs and integrative needs mein i want to give you one more example just i'll just rub this and tell you integrative need mein he also tells jaise maine aapko kya bataya all these things are going to work together to keep the society in harmony right so if i have to take an example of this i'll just give you the example of uh, the exchange in uh, yes the exchanges that take place in trobriand islanders like wasi wasi exchange or kula exchange basically what happens in kula or wasi is that uh, uh, kula mein to humne padha tha ki there are people for example this is an island and there are these many people who live in this island theek hai they will have partners of kula kula is just a ceremonial exchange that is going to take place for example this this is one person and this is one person they are they are they are members of intra intra island kula that means they are partners to each other in this ceremonial exchange and then there is another another island on this on which people live and this very person this very person is mem is partner to this person in the inter island kula that means they are exchanging values of neg uh, sorry gifts of negligible values they they hold religious purposes they hold ceremonial purpose unka kuch value nahi hai but just as a matter of creating solidarity between people theek hai or as a religious purpose they are doing this ceremonial exchanges and guys if you do not understand this now this is because that you have not studied economic anthropology so go back study that and then integrate it here so these are just for solidarity purpose religious harmony so how even though need kya hai insaan ki to protect itself right so it has created these religious institutions these political institutions and now how these institutions are in turn helping the man to fulfill its biological needs right this is what is the whole integrative needs is talking about ki wo basic needs ke liye there are cultural responses and then it is trying to fulfill all of it right so wasi exchange mein bhi aisa hi hota hai ki because these are islanders and what happens is that there are people 
who would for example if i just draw it again for you this is the island just take just take the example of this is the island and this is the water of course around it is the water so the people who are living at the periphery are always going to fish they are going to be fishing communities of course because unke liye water is nearby so they are going to fish but the people who are living inside okay they are going to be uh, you know marginal cultivators you can say so they they produce for example yam they produce theek hai so what they do they will even though they can also go and fish but they will never fish they will only produce yam and they will exchange yam with the fishing uh, with the people who are fishing at the periphery and similarly so fishing wale will never produce yam they will only exchange yam for fishing so what is this even though they can do it but then they have created a society like that that they are going to uh, you know cooperate with each other uh, and they are going to for their their biological needs of food and all of that they are going to cooperate and uh, carry out these cultural responses cultural activities to keep themselves in tandem right so this is how malinowski explains his whole thing so i have explained you the methodology i have explained you the whole uh, idea of what malinowski said so now let's look at the evaluation and achievements of functionalism fully matlab uh, brown and malinowski the whole functionalist school ka achievement evaluation and criticism we are going to see so basically it was for the first time any of the anthropologist thinker gave value to the social institutions because abhi tak hum we were only uh, reading as culture as a derivative thing that means it was just out it was just a uh, outcome of something but it was not something which created things in a systematized manner but in the theories of melinowski and brown both society is playing a very huge role you know it it is created for a purpose it has a function to serve it has a role so that is why it gave the the social institutions its due credit which was required right so the first thing is that so good thing then how culture contributed in catering to human beings requirements right this humne study kar liya in melinowski's thing ki humans ki requirements ko fulfill karta hai कल्चर एंड सोसाइटी सो दैट थिंग देन मेथडोलॉजिकली वेरी सुपीरियर थे बिकॉज इन्होंने फील्ड वर्क करने को बोला इन्होंने वर्नैक्यूलर्स में बात करने को बोला दे टॉक्ड अबाउट पार्टिसिपेंट ऑब्जर्वेशन गोइंग टू द फील्ड लर्निंग अबाउट इट सो मेथडोलॉजिकली सुपीरियर था देन दे रिफ्यूज द आइडियाज ऑफ सैवेज आर सिंपल टाइप्स बेसिकली बिकॉज वॉट इज दिस दे वर स्टडिंग दीज वेरी प्रिमिटिव ट्राइबल सोसाइटीज राइट Trobriand Islanders or Todas of Nilgiri studied by Brown. So what was this? They were tribes, and it was it was their social and cultural behaviors that were read by both of them. So they came up with the ideas that no, even they think very uh, logically. They have created society for a purpose. They have created culture for a purpose. It has a role to serve in their society. So basically, this helped. uh you know target ethnocentric ideas of the classicals ki savages are in short savage they do not have they are simple minded so it it said no they are not simple minded they have logic they uh, have created these all social structures for their own help right but then there was criticism also like malinowski ne bahut zyada importance diya he gave too much importance to biological needs he didn't talk about any other things and similarly brown calling individuals as irrelevant and replaceable for him society's needs were more important so that way theek hai then uh, contribution of a part always positive now basically they were what were they saying they were saying every thing has a function every part of the society has a function to play and till the time it is doing that function it is relevant and after that it will be you know it will be vanished if it doesn't serve a purpose for example uh, telephones landlines today are of 
not any use i would not say much use because today we have mobile phones right so uska relevance tab tak hi hai jab tak you know you do not have any other superior thing if you have a superior thing then uh, landlines will go away right so jab tak it serves a function it will stay after that it will be vanished so this is how they believed but बट अगर हम इसको सोसाइटी पे अप्लाई करें इट इज़ नॉट ट्रू फॉर एग्जाम्पल कास्ट सिस्टम इफ इफ वी टेक इन इंडियन सोसाइटी कास्ट सिस्टम केम एज अ ऑक्यूपेशनल थिंग ऑक्यूपेशनल यू नो इट वॉज अ ऑक्यूपेशनल स्ट्रक्चर राइट कि कौन क्या काम कर रहा है बेस्ड ऑन द डिपेंडेंस ऑन ईच अदर अ कास्ट सिस्टम वॉज क्रिएटेड But then that caste system got converted into ascribed status, and it became the very uh, it became a very closed system where people could not move up and down the ladder. And then inequality came in with that, right? Inequality came in with that. Similarly, the the regressive ideas of sati, right? Devadasi system through religious uh, uh, through religious religion, right? so these are dysfunctions or you can say negative functions of these institutions which were not uh, really ac- uh, acknowledged by both melinowski and brown sati ho gaya theek hai caste system ho gaya racism came as a concept because of these uh, socio cultural constructs because what is racism it's a social construct right it is not a biological construct abhi hum padhenge aage do not get into it but you understand ki society uh, race jo hai racism as a concept biological differences se nahi aata hai social differences se aata hai so these were all the dysfunctions which were somewhere down the line uh, not studied by melinowski and brown right so this was a major criticism then there was no generalization in their theories and they merely remained as ideas not a whole a full generalization could be done or uh, theories could be developed on these ideas and it's anti historic approach that means uh, they were trying trying to say ki study here and now here and now study they were doing right so in here and now they never studied the historical perspective why culture evolved why culture came into being what was the need to have a culture right what was the need to have a society so its anti historic approach also made it a, a not so holistic not so holistic study right so you can say not so holistic study so this was the whole criticism evaluation i hope you guys liked it i hope you guys understood it if you did guys please do like share and subscribe and thank you